This is a big weekend, big week. It's fight week. Bro, we got UFC fight. 291. We got BMF title. We got championship titles. We got some really good scraps here. And yeah. um, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch these Dustin fights. Dustin Poirier and Justin, Justin Gaethje headlining. Yeah. It's going to be a major fight. Rematch to, an, uh, to a, a fucking hell of a brawl. Yeah, bro. And that's just that's how gonna these be guys, a banger. They just like don't give, operate. They man. don't give a fuck. They just go yeah. out and just throw. Um, you know, Dustin won the first time they fought, but ever since then, Justin has uh, you know been performing really well. His last win was against uh, Rafael Fiziev, um, and you know going into that fight, I thought Rafael was gonna handle that. And man, Gage was a monster in there. So I yeah. don't know. This fight's gonna be fucking good. Yeah, both guys have all the experience. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, both exciting fighters. Dustin Poirier, obviously, uh, everyone knows one of my favorite fighters of all time. Favorite Southpaw MMA fighter. You know, as gritty as they get, you know, uh, both guys have, like I said, a ton of experience, amazing records. And uh, yeah, Justin Gage is a fucking beast, too, though, man. Yeah. Uh, on top of having dynamite in those fucking hands, he got them killer leg kicks. Yeah. Yeah, and he's tough as shit, bro. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm looking at this image right now when I, I can see. I just feel like Dustin's just a bigger man, you know, like he's just yeah. physically a bigger dude, and I, yeah. I, lo I love his his striking style. His boxing is sick. I, I mean, don't know. This fight got fight and night written all over it for sure. Know? That's why it's the main event. Just this, this the styles, the it's, style. Of it's both crazy guys. that like the BMF title is ahead of like the light heavyweight championship, dude. Um, you know, Jan it's crazy. Blahowitz. I mean, I mean, what other candidates would you? I mean, they're perfect have to, have to, uh, for that for fight. That BMF title. That's a perfect, yeah. like, perfect combo for that fight. And in Salt Lake City, I hope everybody's cardio is on point. I hope nobody gasses. Who you got? Who you got winning that fight? These two. Yeah. I got. I think I'm gonna go with Poirier. Dustin Poirier. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. In his, I saw a statistic in his rematches. So when he's had the rematch against another opponent, he is uh, undefeated. He's three and zero in rematches. So I think he's gonna make it four and zero against Gagey. Get to thirty wins um and then probably gonna try to set himself to to fight you know islam again for the title yeah if he can so that would be interesting but then you know you just yeah you just never know bro like gage is just tough as nails and but yeah. i feel like i feel like uh dustin's gonna get it done i feel like yeah i think so too i think um i think dustin has uh more experience bro as far as like fighting you know I mean, they both fight the elite of the elite fighters. But Dustin's been doing it his like whole career. Yeah, and I mean, it's hard. It's hard to predict this one, but uh, I, I'm gonna, gonna go with go Dustin on this one. Yeah. yeah, me too. How about that Coleman event? That Coleman event, Alex Pereira moving up to yes, uh, light sir. heavyweight. Yes, sir. Um, um, pulls this one off. It's crazy. Seven and two, fighting twenty nine and nine. Jan Blahowitz, man, you know. Wow, I I did not realize Jan's record has that many fights, bro. He's very ton experienced. Of experience. Very experienced. Yeah. Um, you know what happened last time Jan fought uh, an, an 85er coming up? It was Israel. Yeah, uh, and uh, took him down, controlled him. Yeah, did what he needed to do to He's, win the fight. Yeah, you could see the size differential, but for sure, this is different. Alex Pereira definitely a bigger fighter. Cuts a shitload of weight. I think if he comes if he comes in any heavier than 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 what he starts cutting, I mean. How convenient is that, though, bro, to just, like, not have to cut weight? <sighs> yeah, bro, cutting weight is the worst. <laughs> yeah, it dude. It sucks. But, uh, you know, it's part of the game. And I, I can't imagine how painful it must have been for Pereira to make 85. Because dude yeah. walking around, like, 220. 220 yeah, seeing his, weight, his picture at weight is horrible. Yeah. It, yeah. He cuts weight, like, six weeks out. Like, he's, like, already, like, cutting weight, you know. it's So, in another, like aspect you'll think okay at 205 he's gonna be you know even stronger feeling even better more confident you know maybe because the 85 cut that was a good reason why israel starched him in the last one you know so i don't know there's no way jan is gonna want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe throwing hands with Pereira. like the game plan has got to be just a non-stop wrestle wrestle grapple grapple because yeah didn't uh izzy control him a little bit in one of those fights and in, in the second fight he took him down on the cage yeah he took him down and and and, and, and i didn't expect that out of uh out of izzy no. to be honest with you but he showed some is he out wrestling skills yeah, yeah, like, he, yeah some, yeah. he showed some good some good hey uh, shout out to frank skills. hickman yo shout out to frank we still got to make our way out there thailand bro yeah bank Tao. Yeah, yes, sir. shout out to bank Tao. but uh yeah no um 
I think if there's a one way or, or an easy way for Jan to win this fight, he just takes Pereira down. Obviously, Pereira has been training hard. He's been, uh, you know, working on his takedown defense because it's it's pretty. It's not rock science. Everybody knows, you know, the way to win and the way to avoid getting knocked out is not to strike with uh, Pereira. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like super strong advantage for Pereira standing up and then vice versa for Jan uh, in the grappling department. Yeah, I think uh, Pereira should do fine, though. I mean, um, you know, he came in, he's record 7-2, and two, but he's fought, you know, the elite, you know, competition. I don't know. If I'm, I, I just have this Laid feeling. out Sean Strickland. I, yeah, he did. Um, you know, uh, KO'd Adesanya, you know, they, like, you know, he doesn't, he does for shit sure. that people don't normally. But 185ers you know, like, yeah. and 205ers, 20 yeah. pounds. And for all we know, 205 could actually be what he's, his, like, you know how some, like, uh, Robert Whitaker, wasn't he, like, a welterweight? Like he used to make 170, and then, and then he, he moved, moved up, up, and he actually, and, like, and there's, there's a, uh, yeah. you know, that might work out for him. For sure. I mean, physically looking at the two, it's like. Yeah. Or it could give you opportunity to focus on other things during fight camp instead of just cutting weight for sure you know or yeah. actually building power or getting better yeah, yeah. just or, working you on know. your tools instead of just like fucking sitting in a sauna all the time yeah. but yeah no i mean i just have this feeling that i i always like to edge the experience and for a guy to have you know almost 40 pro 40 pro fights and and and, and a former champion um you know he fought for the belt against Ankalaev and it was a draw and like he arguably like you know won the fight he had like he almost won the fight by TKO leg kicks he was leg kicking the fuck out of Ankalaev to the point where dude couldn't even like really walk anywhere to like shoot and they they called it a draw so that was his last fight you know so he's hungry to get back uh get back in the win column and get that belt he's a former champ polish power I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm going to go with Jan. I like I like Jan to get it done. Of course, Alex Pereira has like a 95% chance of like putting him to sleep. Very likely if it stays standing. But I just feel like, I don't know, MMA it just always seems to. Yeah. Jan's a powerful dude, man. He I can mean, crack. Like, um, yeah. Yeah. Look how uh, he uh, uh, destroyed. Who was that? Who's Rockhold he knocked out. Yeah. Corey. Uh, was it Anderson he knocked out? Like, dude got a good a name of Paul. the dude walks around yeah, who's the, who's uh um, who's the damn who's the mexican homie fuck i forgot his name reyes yeah reyes yeah, he yeah. Reyes out. i didn't i didn't see that i didn't expect that shit i, yeah. I was hoping reyes would would have got that but yeah, yeah he, bro he hasn't he looked the same up he's been showing up yeah he didn't look the same since uh since that john jones fight that arguably he won and, yeah and like you know what people yeah. that fight jones they actually uh don't come out the same so yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go with my pick. So I got Dustin and I got Jan. And what about you, dude? Who you got on this second fight? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Alex Pereira, bro. Alex Pereira, I'm a fan. Alrighty, I'm a fan of the guy. 